hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to learn how to decompose a rational function whose denominator possess a quadratic factor into partial fractions we are going to learn how to decompose a rational function whose denominator possess a quadratic factor into partial fractions now let's consider this rational function 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 times x squared plus 2. The denominator is made up of two factors. We have x minus 2 and then x squared plus 2. Now x minus 2 is the linear factor of the form ax plus b and then x squared plus 2 is the quadratic factor also of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where the value of a is not equal to 0. Now if the denominator of a rational function is made up of a linear factor and a quadratic factor, then decomposing this rational function into partial fractions, the numerator of the linear factor is a constant which is represented by a and the numerator of the quadratic factor is linear represented by bx plus c. So the numerator of the linear factor is a constant which is represented by a and the numerator of the quadratic factor is linear represented by bx plus c so in other words you can say that the numerator of each of the factors is one degree less than the denominator the numerator of each of the factors is one degree less than the denominator now let's find the lcm and then work out this to find the values of a b and then c so the LCM becomes x minus 2 times x squared plus 2. So we divide x minus 2, x squared plus 2 by x minus 2 and then we are left with x squared plus 2. So we have a times x squared plus 2 plus we divide x minus 2, x squared plus 2 by x squared plus 2 and then we have x minus 2 left. So that is bx plus c times x minus 2. Now this is equal to the rational function 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 x squared plus 2. Now since the denominator is the same, we can compare the numerator and find the values of a b and c so this becomes a times x square plus 2 plus bx plus c times x minus 2 equals 5x square minus 3x plus 4 now we have x square plus 2 we have x minus 2 so if we should put x equals 2 then we have 2 minus 2 which is 0 then we can do away with this term and then we focus on a and find the value of a so let's put x equals 2 so we have a times 2 square plus 2 plus b times 2 plus c times 2 minus 2 equals 5 times 2 square minus 3 times 2 plus 4 2 minus 2 is 0 0 times anything here is still 0 2 square is 4 plus 2 is 6 so we have 6a equals 2 square is 4 times 5 is 20 20 minus 6 we have 14 14 plus 4 is 18 you divide through by 6 we have the value of a to be 3 so this is a now let's find the value of b and then c to find the value of b and c we need to expand this identity so we have a times x square that is a x square plus a times 2 is 2a plus we have bx times x that is b x square c times x is we have cx 
bx times negative 2 we have negative 2 bx and then c times negative 2 is negative 2c this is equal to 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 now let's group like terms and factor out the common term so for x squared we have x squared outside and then a plus b for x we have x outside and then we have negative 2b plus c so negative 2b plus c and then for the constants we have 2a minus 2c this is equal to 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 now let's compare the coefficient of x squared so compare coefficients of x square the reason why we are going to compare the coefficient of x square is that we know the value of a to be 3 and then here we have a plus b so if a plus b is equal to 5 then we can find the value of b so a plus b is equal to 5 we have a to be 3 so right away we can write our 3 so 3 plus b is equal to 5 we transpose 3 to the right hand side we have b equals 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 therefore the value of b is equal to 2 now let's find the value of c since we have negative b plus c we can compare coefficients of x so compare compare coefficients of x So negative 2b, we have b to be 2. So negative 2 times 2 plus c is equal to negative 3. We transpose negative 2 times 2 to the right hand side. So we have c equals negative 3 plus 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have c to be equal to 1. So A is equal to 3, B is equal to 2, and then C is equal to 1. Therefore, the rational function 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 2, x squared plus 2 is finally equal to 3 over x minus 2 plus bx so 2x plus c which is 1 over x squared plus 2 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye